students my name is niyati sait and thanks for watching a video board videos my topic for the presentation is class apes of kingdom animalia turn your frustration into fun with your online tutor niyati sait so let's proceed towards our topic that is class apes of kingdom animalia okay first i will brief you about the class apes or birds birds are endothermic or warm blooded animals that have feathers beaks and scales on their legs they lay egg which they usually keep warm in nest until the young hatch most birds are good at flying they have powerful uh, wings and light strong bone flight has enabled birds to colonize every habitat in the world including remote islands and the polar regions okay so there are an estimated 9000 living species of class apes okay molecular and fossil evidence indicated blads and crocodilians are more closely related to dinosaurs than any other reptiles okay they shared with dinosaurs such characteristics such as foot with three primary toes and one accessory toe held high in back feather modified scales made of keratin used for flight and insulation like mammals they have a four chambered heart and there is a complete separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood okay the body temperature is from uh, 2 degree fahrenheit to 14 degree higher than that of mammals birds have a relatively large brain keen sight and acute hearing power but the smelling power is very less birds have a system of branching air sacs that functions with their lung in respiration okay and the air sac system helps supply the high level of oxygen that support a high rate of metabolism air sac also reduce the overall body weight of the birds okay bones are honeycombed and mostly hollow but are still structurally strong okay for birds adaptation to decrease body weight i would like to tell you few things about the class apes that birds are believed to be an extant members of a group of a dinosaurs called maniraptors okay they share with dinosaurs such as characters such as foot with three primary toes and one accessory toe held high in back a early ancestors of modern bird including archaeopteryx the rooster size pedagopteryx skillful flyers with the toothed beaks okay uh, the archaeopteryx we will be studying in this slide before that uh, adaptation to decrease body weight they have a air sac system as i have told you they have honeycombed bones they have absence of many internal organs they have uh, teeth which are absent okay compactness and the firmness are achieved by the fusion of the bones in the pelvic region and in the other parts of the skeleton okay gizzard muscular organ often contains small stones that grind seeds and other food materials crop sac like organ used for temporarily storing food and some birds such as ostrich penguin kiwi they lack the power of flight and have a flat sternum or the breastbone okay without the prominent keel to Uh, the well developed flight muscles of other birds are attached okay now we'll be studying the origin of birds paleontologist they agree that ancestors of birds was a small feathered dinosaur as i have told you they are the extant members of a group of dinosaurs called maniraptors okay uh, maniraptors include velociraptor and oviraptor okay a famous bird fo fossil is known as archaeopteryx uh, lived 150 mya mya is a million years ago okay the fossil remains of the archaeopteryx which to the jurassic park show reptilian tails jaws with teeth and clawed wings but feather they found also in some dinosaurs were well developed okay if you talk about the other group that is pterosaurs of flying reptile did not share the common characteristics of birds and dinosaurs and are not considered birds okay whether the capacity for flight arose in uh, tree living 
dinosaurs that glided from branch to branch or in the fast running terrestrial that dinosaurs continues to be debated okay indeed the inclusion of birds in a dinosaur family tree although accepted by most paleontologists is debated by some and the identification of the oldest known feathers on you can say 220 million year old four legged reptile fossil longi squama okay raised question concerning the theory okay As I have told you that Archipteryx had a mixture of bird and the reptilian feature. This is the representation of a uh, Archipteryx. It has an enlarged brain for a special option. It has a toothed beak. It has enlarged forelimbs designed for the flight. They have a wing claws. They have long tail with vertebrae. Okay, mind. It has a airfoil wings. They have a well developed flight so you can say that they uh, connects a link between uh, reptiles and the birds okay so now come to their flying style rapid altitude changes uh, just cardinals okay soar and glide on the air current falcons and albatross flap or burst quickly and can hover or go backward example is hummingbird flightless swimming or diving birds are penguins so there are four types the, the one are uh, flightless swimming birds is the flap or the bus who can uh, burst quickly and the third is a soar or glide on the air currents examples are albatross and falcons and fourth is a rapid altitude change examples are finches and cardinals okay and the fifth is flightless running birds such as ostrich and emus okay now come to the beak adaptation beak is made up of keratin keratin is a protein that is uh, found in uh, hairs and nails of humans okay that is the same protein which beak is made up of and second it is modified to the food source it is toothless and cannot chew okay these are the beak shapes or modified beak shapes this is the type and this is the adaptation uh, to which situation they adapted to this shape okay so this is the shape is known as coracle shape seed eaters like sparrow and cardinals they have short thick coracle bills for cracking seed okay second type is shredder Birds of prey like hawks and owls have sharp curved bills for tearing meat. Okay, and this shape is known as kaisal. Kaisal is a uh, kaisal beak is seen in woodpeckers. They have a bills that are long and kaisal like for boring into wood to eat insects. As we know that woodpeckers they mm, make hole in the wood log to eat insects. Okay. And the fourth type is a probe type. This is probe. So, and then hummingbird. Hummingbird is a very small bird. Okay. Hummingbird bills are long and slender for probing flowers for nectar. Okay. That means they suck nectar from flowers. That's why its uh, beak is modified into this probe shape. Okay. Means long and slender for probing flowers for nectar. Okay. And fifth shape is strainer some ducks have long flat bills that strain small plants and animals from the water okay and the sixth is a spear this is a spear shaped birds like herons and kingfishers they have spear like bills which are adapted for fishing okay that means they take out the fish from the water that's why their bait is modified into spear shaped okay examples are kingfishers and herons and the next beak shape is tweezer this is tweezer shape insect eaters like warblers they have very thin and pointed bills okay and last is a swiss army knife pros have a multi-purpose bill that allows bill means beak okay that allows them to eat fruit seed insect fish and other animals okay this is seen in crows only now come to the food structures how they adapted their food 
perching such as songs bird grasping uh, example woodpecker and third is the raptor eagles and hawks are the examples swimming swimming uh, birds are such as duck and geese now come to the food shape modification okay these are uh, these six are the food shape um, types this is grasping this shape is for grasping raptors like osprey they use their large curved claws to snatch fish from the water okay and second is scratching pheasants and other birds that scratch the soil for food have nail like toes okay for for digging the holes in the soil or that scratch the soil this uh, food structure is very useful okay that's why its name is scratching okay third is a swimming type swimming type food ducks and other webbed line swimming birds they use their feet like paddles and then fourth is perching type robins have a long back toe which lets them grab a perch lightly and the fifth is a running foot structure many fast running birds have three toes rather than four okay that helps in the running and last is a climbing a woodpecker hind toe enable it to climb without falling backward so this foot structure help wood to climb without falling backward okay these are the bird perching birds representations and these are the swimming birds the goose okay and these are the raptors behavioral adaptations behavioral adaptation is a way a bird acts or behaves to stay alive okay complex courtship behaviors complex song communication and caring for offspring are the behavioral adaptations of birds and nest building so in short birds are of four types perching birds or the song uh, birds grasping birds raptor birds and swimming birds to which ducks and goose belong perching birds are the cardinal song birds grasping birds are the woodpeckers raptors are the eagle hawks and swimming uh, category duck and geese belong to okay so this comes to an end in the next session we'll be studying about the class mammalia of the kingdom animalia okay so till then stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos